All right, we're just going to do a quick video on how to culture microworms so your so your fish can have some delicious and nutritious treats. So basically, what we want is a container. It's deep. Doesn't matter if it's square or rectangle or circular. Um, the microworms like this container will climb up the glass or the plastic, and those things all up the container are all microworms. So what you'll need is a container like that, you'll need some rolled oats, and you'll need some instant dried yeast. Um, so I, I usually buy a big container of it, because that's about essentially what the worms will feed on. Um, you can also get it with sachets and things. So we basically have about a centimetre of oats, and what I'll do is I'll just add water to it, and I'll just mash it with a fork until we get sort of a gluey sort of consistency, so we'll do that now. So we've just added some water, let it soak into the oats, and we just use a fork just to mash it. So it becomes sort of like a paste. Uh, you don't want it too runny, you don't want it too dry, you just want a nice sort of wet layer it's for the worms to sit on and breed. Our last step is I'm just going to throw some um, instant yeast in here, and that'll help grow the colony. And basically food for them. So nice, nice and have yeast on there. <clears throat> and then all I do is just pour from an old colony. Or we can buy these on eBay or anywhere. Uh, Microworm culture. And you'll probably see this sort of glistening, which is the worms sort of um, doing their thing. And all I do is pour a small amount on top. And within a couple of days, you'll literally see almost that. Um, all I do is drill two tiny little holes. I don't know if you can see them there. Two tiny little holes so the culture can breathe. Um, a lot of people make big holes and stuff, um, cotton in that and stuff. But literally, all I do is to do two little holes. Um, you don't want two bigger holes because then flies can get in and lay maggots in there and. Uh, you know, bugs can get in and, and ruin your colony. So very, very tiny little holes, and that seems to work for me. Um, there's a little hole there. A little hole, and it's drilled in the top. So what we'll do is, um, we'll add this culture to this one, and I'll show you in a couple of days of how, what it looks like. Here we are, a day and a half later, and our worms have cultured, and they're looking very good. So all we do now to harvest it is you can use your finger. I use a little paintbrush. Uh, we just wipe the inside of the glass. And then just to maintain this culture every couple of days, I just add a little bit of uh, yeast and it basically feeds them and basically boosts the colony again. And after about two weeks, I just restart the whole process. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope this uh, is successful for you guys and you have a good time culturing microworms.